Welcome to the Imaginative Storm Writing Prompt of the Week Gathering. I'm James Nave. I'm usually here with my creative collaborator, Allegra Houston. She's absent today because she's teaching a workshop in Nova Scotia, and I'm recording this in Taos, New Mexico. So every Saturday morning, we gather with a group of writers at 10 a.m. Mountain Time and noon Eastern Time on Zoom, and we generate a piece of writing. We're, we're gathered for an hour, and we write for 10 minutes. And we write for 10 minutes based on a prompt. So what I would like to do today is to give you that prompt and, and give you the opportunity to experience what we experienced this morning. So here's how it's going to work. I will offer you the image, which will pop up in just a second. And what I'd like for you to do when the image emerges, I'd like for you to just let your imagination take some fancy, drop into your imagination, let your imagination get a little bit unruly, and generate some words or phrases based on what you see. And it doesn't have to be literal. It can be fanciful. You can make poetic leaps if you like, or you can just jot down what you see on the image in front of you. However you go about it, take two minutes to do it, and when your two minutes is up, I'll come back and tell you what we're going to do next. So your two minutes begins right now. Okay. You now have a list of words. It's your personal list. So on the Saturday morning call, after everybody generates a personal list, I go around the room and I get one word or phrase from each person, and everybody writes those words and phrases down on their community list. So personal list and community list. So since you don't have the opportunity to be on the Zoom call just yet. You can join us anytime you like. Go to imaginativestorm.com for that information. I'm going to read our list, so you will have the list we had this morning. So here we go. Blue velvet, winter parking, morning light. Who was that masked man? Sticks and stones, not my true identity. Cap it off, cane and wand, traffic circle. Family is hard. Chance encounter, manicured, skyless, Irish gnome. Why are, why are we here? Eclectic, wallabies in Edinburgh. Where's your dog? Devil may care, freshly rotten. Celtics, who knows? Are you comfortable? Fur trim, linear and horizontal. Wayward eunuch, don't make the wrong wish. Incognito, bolted cabbage, kiss my ring. So now what I would like for you to do is get ready to write for 10 minutes. 
I'll time you so you don't have to worry about that. And while you're writing, let your imagination just jump wherever it wants. Do whatever it wants. And in the lists that you have, you can put, put odd combinations together, like family is hard in the skyless, why are we here atmosphere. So I'm just playing around a little bit with that. But you can see how any of those combinations will stimulate your imagination. So the idea here is to drop into the imaginative process while keeping your rational mind available to do some creative work along with your imaginative mind. Think of it as a dance. The imaginative mind and the rational mind dancing together, collaborating, and generating something which you don't really know yet what that something will be. But what you do know is it doesn't exist right now. It will exist in 10 minutes. So sit back, get ready to write, and your 10 minutes begins now.
So now you have something written that didn't exist 10 minutes ago. Who knows what it sounds like? Please consider reading it out loud. Just pick it up and read it out loud. Because after we finish with our generative work for 10 minutes on our Saturday calls, we break out in, in rooms and read the work to each other. So if you're by yourself, read it to yourself. But if you happen to have somebody in, in your environment, your house, the coffee shop, wherever you are, I encourage you, ask them to listen and read it out loud. If you're shy, keep it private. However you do it, enjoy listening to it as it emerges from, from, your, from your body. It's a new gift to the world. So thank you for generating that. And if you like what you wrote, you can go to Imaginative Storm and you'll find a link there to publish it on our Circle community. And every Saturday, we, we put this material on the Circle community as well. So people who generate work on Saturday morning can go there and put their work up, and you can too. So imaginativestorm.com is where you will find that. You can also, if you like to further your writing more, here's our book, Write What You Don't Know. And writing what you don't know really means there's a lot in there that you do know. You just haven't discovered it yet. So when you use the Imaginative Storm method, you generate material that surprises you and, and leaves, you, leaves you with a smile on your face. So there you go. Thank you ever so much for participating in this work. And we really appreciate it. And we'd love to have you on Saturday morning if you'd like to come. You'll find that information at Imaginative Storm as well. So that's it for now. Happy writing. Enjoy what you do. And come back sometime soon. Mm -hmm.